In this case, we are required to calculate the number of non-negative roots for 2 to the power x minus x minus 1, which is equal to 0. So, to solve this, I think you should know how to draw graphs. How does the y-axis look of a graph? It looks like this. And how does the x-axis look? It looks like this. How does the graph y is equal to 2 to the power x look like? It looks something like this, where when x is very low, when x is say minus infinity, you don't want to say minus infinity, you can make x to be equal to say minus 1000. Then y will be close to, where will the value of y be? y will be close to 0. So, it will be something like this. It will keep coming like this, coming like this, coming like this, coming like this. When x is equal to 0, y will be equal to 1. It will continue to rise like this. When x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2. And it will continue to go further like this. It will continue to go exponentially. And how does y is equal to x plus 1 look like? y is equal to x plus 1 is a simple straight line. It will look something like this. When x is minus infinity, it will be minus infinity. It will be something like this. It will go like this and it will continue to go like this. So, basically, both of them intersect. Let me draw it again. If you are drawing the y axis, it looks like this. And if you are drawing the x axis, it looks like this. y is equal to x plus 1 will be a simple straight line like this. It will intersect the y axis over here when x is 0 and y is 1. This is y is equal to x plus 1. And the line y to y is equal to 2 to the power x will look something like this. It will go like this, something like this. It will again intersect it at some point over here and it will intersect over here. So, the intersection will be at two points. You can actually calculate this point also. Coincidentally, this point is 1 comma 2. But one thing you should know is that this is how the graphs look. So, once you draw the graph, you can answer this question. There is no other very easy way to answer this kind of a question unless you can draw simple graphs. Uh, so, you should always know how to draw the graphs of y is equal to n to the power x, which will be something like this. You should also know how to draw the graphs of y is equal to mx plus c, which is a straight line. So, once you know how to draw these graphs, you can answer these kind of questions. And here, the correct answer is 2. For more cat level questions and detailed video solution, just go to Google and search Crack Your Cat Questions.